Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, Friday, on the 2nd of May, Microsoft has announced that Windows 11 24H2 now is rolling out for everyone. Despite 24H2, as we have been talking about on the channel, being plagued with numerous issues um, that affect its usability and its performance, and most of which we have spoken about on this channel, I'll leave a playlist for 24H2 somewhere here in the end screen if you would be interested. Now, Microsoft has this officially to say. It says devices running home and pro editions of Windows 11 version 23H2 and 22H2 that are not managed by IT departments, basically your average home user, will receive the Windows 11 version 24H2 update automatically. They mention you can choose the time to restart your device or postpone the update. Now, as you may well know, version 24H2 is also known as the Windows 11 2024 update. And according to Microsoft, is the latest version of Windows available. And it recommends you move to version 24H2 to try the latest Windows innovations. Now, that's going to be causing a bit of debate. And although Microsoft is starting to push 24H2 out now to the masses automatically, I personally would not download and install it, even if it does become available on your Windows update page. I said I would post a video when I feel that 24H2 is stable enough and ready enough um, to be downloaded and installed, and I will post when, when that happens. But Microsoft mentions that if you have an eligible Windows 10 or Windows 11 device, obviously you can head over to your Windows update page and you can click on check for updates or seek for updates as it's also known. And if your device is ready for the update, you'll see the option to download and install Windows 11 version 24H2, which will appear as a banner on this page, the Windows Update page. Now, although Microsoft says that if you have an eligible device, you will receive the update automatically, it doesn't mean that the update will be downloaded and installed automatically onto your device. All it means is that you receive the prompt the banner on this page to download and install the update if you so wish and there will be a download and install button on that banner when it arrives so you don't have to panic you don't have to worry about waking up one day and there's suddenly 24h2 installed automatically onto your device that's not what they are talking about it's just that you will receive the option to download and install the update if you so wish now it's also important to note that if you have a compatibility and a safeguard hold and a block on your device, maybe you've got a driver issue or another of the known issues that we have been talking about on the channel, the update will not be offered to you until that hold is lifted. So you're only going to receive it through Windows Update if you have no compatibility or safeguard hold blocks on your system and your device. So just keep that in mind. But nonetheless, just letting you know, according to Microsoft, it's now available for everybody, despite the fact that there are still so many issues doing the rounds. But I'm just keeping you guys posted like we like to do on the channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.